press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. South Korea has become leading Asian weapons supplier and defense industry partner for India and a recent agreement on warship construction for the Indian Navy cements this position for South Korea. On April 21, 2017, India and South Korea signed an intergovernmental memorandum of understanding to cooperate in shipbuilding for military use. Cooperation in shipbuilding that will facilitate their partnership in warship building programs. Under this deal, warships for the Indian Navy will be built at domestic shipyards with South Korean assistance. India has selected its state owned Hindustan Shipyard Limited to cooperate with a shipyard nominated by South Korea. The K 9 artillery system of South Korea has already been shortlisted by the Indian Army in a global competition, which will now be built at Indian facilities. The Indian Air Force has enhanced its capability of its frontline base in Punjab by deploying additional Shukhoi fighter jets, which is close to the Indo-Pakistan border. In a solemn ceremony on 24 April 2017, the Su-30 MKI was inducted into 221 Squadron, Valiants of the Indian Air Force. The Valiants which flew MiG-23 aircraft till 2009, is now equipped with the formidable Su-30 MKI aircraft. The Su-30 MKI is a state-of-the-art, all-weather multi-role fighter aircraft which is capable of undertaking varied air combat and ground attack missions. The squadron has changed many bases during its 54 years long journey and has taken part in 1971 war and Kargil operations. Many of the squadron pilots have been decorated with gallantry awards over the years. According to sources, General Atomics has received export approval for electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear to the Indian Navy. The electromagnetic aircraft launch system is designed to replace steam catapult system. U.S. Navy's Gerald I. Ford is the first carrier to use electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Due to its flexible architecture, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system can launch a wide variety of aircraft weights and can be used on a variety of platforms with differing catapult configurations. The dual seat variant of the JF-17, the JF-17B, has successfully undertaken its maiden test flight on April 27. Production of the JF-17B prototype began in April 2016. Currently, the JF-17B is entering the testing phase. According to sources, three JF-17Bs are under production, two of which will join the Pakistan Air Force. There are more than 70 JF-17 in service with the Pakistan Air Force, and the Pakistan Air Force is expected to place its order for 50 Block 3s in 2017. Five. China launched its first aircraft carrier in 2011, after buying and equipping its rusting Soviet-era hull from Ukraine in 1998. China's new carrier is built along similar lines, although it is more advanced and can carry about 50 aircraft. According to Chinese state media, the ship is combat ready, but it still needs to undergo more tests and system debugging. The carrier launch comes at a time, as tensions rise, over China's activities in the South China Sea. China's two aircraft carriers are no much in size, power and endurance, for those of the United States Navy, which keeps 10 carriers and has two under construction 